Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a mystery and science fiction movie, called Mirage. In 1989, during the fall of the Berlin Wall and a 72-hour-long electrical storm, there is a boy, named Nico, who likes playing a guitar. While he is recording himself playing the guitar, he hears some noises and sees a fight scene in his neighbor's house through a window. Nico, who is curious about it, immediately sneaks into his neighbor's house to see what happened. When he goes inside, he is very surprised because he sees Mrs. Weiss was dead. Shortly after, Prieto who is the husband of Mrs. Weiss comes down with a knife in his hand. Seeing Prieto with a knife, Nico tries to escape, unfortunately he is accidentally hit by a car on the road. Nico's friend Itor sees him dies in the car accident, as Prieto is arrested with the murder weapon in his hand. In 2014, Itor, who has grown up and works as a pilot still lives in the residential area with his mother Clara. As they look up at the sky, an agitated Clara tells Itor that this electrical storm is similar as the storm that occurred 25 years ago during Nico's death. Meanwhile, a married couple, Vera and David, move into Nico's old house along with their daughter Gloria. Unintentionally, they find an old TV in a storeroom along with a video recorder and cassettes. They decide to watch one of the cassettes which contains a recording of Nico playing guitar. After they watch the video, the TV starts broadcasting the live news that was taking place when Nico was making his video. At night, they invite Itor with his mother to have dinner at their house. They share about the strange events that they had experienced before. Itor informs them that the little boy is his best friend. He additionally reveals the story how Nico could be killed at that time. After dinner, David searches for news about Prieto being involved in the murder case. According to the news, he was arrested in his slaughterhouse before he buried his wife's body and decided to commit suicide after being imprisoned for three months. By the time everyone falls asleep, the TV turns on by itself and starts broadcasting the old live news again. Vera, who is awakened by the sound of the TV, approaches it right away. At the same time in 1989, Nico turns on his video camera. They are connected via the video camera and the TV. Their dimensions are connected through a time tunnel formed by the storms that occur simultaneously. Vera initially gets shocked because she can see Nico through the TV and finds a way to interact with him. While they are confused, Nico hears some noises coming from his neighbor's house, which is Prieto's house. Vera tries hard to persuade him not to leave his house, so that he will not be hit by a car on the road. She tells all the things that will happen to Nico if he goes to Prieto's house, starting with the incident tomorrow morning where lightning will strike Nico's school clock, causing the school's electricity to go out completely, and eventually the school is closed. The next day, Nico tells his mother what had happened last night. When Nico arrives at his school, he is astonished that everything Vera said actually happened. In Vera's timeline, she suddenly wakes up in the hospital where she works, but it seems like everyone treats her differently. In the operating room, everyone calls her as Dr. Vera and she is requested to operate on a patient, even though she had stopped being a doctor since she was pregnant. Feeling puzzled, she leaves the operating room and rushes to Gloria's school. However, everyone does not recognize her daughter not even the teacher knows her. She goes straight to David's office and explains everything that had happened, then again, he does not understand all the things she just said. Finally, Vera goes to the police station to tell everything that happened to Inspector Lyra. At first, she tells Itor's story about Nico, being hit by a car because he witnessed a murder, also about Nico's appearance on old TV and Vera had warned him of his impending death. After the incident, she doesn't remember anything then she wakes up in the hospital. Inspector Lyra explains that David is not her husband and that Gloria never existed because her birth certificate and photo were never found. According to him, Vera is having hallucinations. He advises Vera to do a brain examination, the result is that her brain is not problematic and in good condition. Then the doctor shows her office full of award certificates, which turns out that she is the best neurologist in the hospital. Since then, she just realizes that her future had changed when she saved Nico from his death. Back in the past, Nico who has been saved from his death is still curious about Prieto's unusual activities. He sneaks back to Prieto's house until he is so shocked that he finds Mrs. Weiss's body in the bathtub. He wants to run away directly from the house, but at the same time Prieto is back home. Nico decides to hide under a bed and he finds a watch engraved with the letter CM on the back. He sees Prieto carrying a chainsaw to mutilate Mrs. Weiss's body, while he waits for the right time to escape from the house. In the present, Vera finds a fictional book called Mirage by Karen Sardon. Then she and Inspector Lyra go to the library to read the book. It contains the name of Nico Lazarte. With this evidence, she convinces Inspector Lyra to visit Karen Sardon. At last, they meet with Karen to ask about Nico's whereabouts. 
Karen tells them that she only heard his mother's story about Nico's imagination being able to communicate with a woman from the future through the television. They learn that during the current storm, they can communicate with Nico and try to change things. Inspector Lyra tries to help her out, but he needs some proof in order to trust her. As proof, Vera tells him to dig and look for the body of Mrs. Weiss beneath Prieto's slaughterhouse. They do so and find a human skeleton in a suitcase. Afterwards, Inspector Lyra helps Vera by giving her some credit card information about Nico and an address. When she visits this address, she is shocked to find David cheating on his wife with a nurse who is Vera's friend. She blackmails David, who is a bank employee, to get information about Nico's location. In the meantime, the police arrest Prieto, who is now living with Victor and Clara. During the interrogation, it is also revealed that Prieto and Clara were having an affair and they were caught by Mrs. Weiss, which led to a fight in which Clara accidentally stabbed Weiss. Inspector Lyra asks for the watch Clara is wearing at the time. Sure enough, there is letter CM on the back of the watch, which means Clara Medina. This is in accordance with the statement of little Nico who had reported Prieto to the police, but at that time the police ignored his report, even Nico was considered to have a mental disorder. Day by day, he became more and more obsessed with the woman from the future. He only had one clue, the Valpinata station, where he hoped to meet the woman someday. At the end, he managed to meet Vera at the station when he had grown up. When Vera arrives at Nico's place, she is surprised to learn that Inspector Lyra is Nico Lazarte, who is in a relationship with her in this reality. Lyra tells her how he had waited for her for years and in doing so, had unknowingly prevented her from meeting David and Itor. Vera asks him to fix the events using the old TV set and video recorder. Then she commits suicide so that Lyra will have to save her. Lyra uses the old TV and video recorder to communicate with his childhood self. Vera wakes up to an earlier version of reality where David is her husband and Gloria is her daughter. She finds out that David is still cheating on her. She calls the police to report Mrs. Weiss's body beneath the slaughterhouse. At that place, she meets Inspector Lyra, hoping in her new life to start a new relationship with him along with her daughter. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.